everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video, I'm working on the 2017 Subaru uh, Crosstrek, which is the uh, same as Impreza. I'm going to show you how you could possibly have a quick fix for code P0031. It's uh, oxygen sensor, heater control circuit low, bank 1, sensor 1. So before you're going to go through all the uh, diagnostics, you could do a very quick check which I haven't done, I figured it out a little later and uh, I'll show you what possibly you could do to get this thing fixed quickly. You might have this issue, you might not, you might actually have bad sensor but before you replace a sensor or you try to do continuity test and make sure checking your wiring, make sure the wiring is good or actually doing the checking, checking the sensor, if the sensor is any good you could do very quick test. Check this out, I'll show you what I just did. You could possibly have the same exact thing so like I said before you start you know getting uh, into expensive diagnostics or hiring somebody to look for an issue very simple you could do this yourself you can uh, just check the fuses real quick all right there's as you can see there's two blocks of fuses the brown block and there's a black one I'm gonna try to put some light on it okay as you could see uh, there's a brown pl uh, block and the black one so on the black one, uh, I'm going to show you that that block, if you're not going to find description of those fuses. The only description of the fuses you're going to have is for the brown, for the brown block, which is right there. But all those fuses, you're not going to find description for those fuses and you will know what they mean, which fuse means what. But if you count from the bottom third fuse, that's 7.5, 7.5, and then 15 amp, that is for that oxygen sensor fuse okay in my case I know that it's blown I'm gonna pull it out and them and show it to you I already have another fuse prepared on the floor as you can see this is a good fuse the link is not broken you can see this link is good but watch what happens when I pull out this fuse here it's the third fuse let me see if I can get my lights here I apologize, I'm trying to make a video with one hand and so check this out. We have a burnt fuse. As you can see, it's not connected inside. So all I have to do right now, I'm gonna have to replace it with a good fuse. And my, all I have to do then, use a scan tool or disconnect the battery for about 5-10 minutes. It will reset the code in the computer. But with these Subarus, sometimes you would have to use a scan tool to reset the code. Because they, they store the code in the computer and uh, it won't want to be cleared just by disconnecting the battery. The car manufacturers got real smart. They want you to get it cleared by computer now. Like back in the, I know most of the cars, I would just disconnect the battery for, you know, 5-10 minutes and the whole computer would be reset. On these newer cars, they don't want to fool the emissions because a lot of people just pull the, disconnect the battery cables for 10-15 minutes then go do their emissions test and a lot of times it would pass. Um, but now, the light would stay on so you might need to reset it with, with the uh, scan tool. So let's see what happens. Uh, I just replaced the fuse. This is my burnt fuse, and I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. 99% of the time, it would still stay on, but you never know. It's still on, as I said, but what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna use my scan tool, okay? And all I'm using is my launch yellow connector. like this this is the connector that I use it works right off my droid so I could use my cell phone or I could use any tablet to reset the code and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in my OBD2 is right in the bottom over here the light comes on and now all I have to do just reset reset the code and that's gonna take care of it 
once again once I clear the code I'll show you so I just went ahead and cleared the code watch this now and I'm gonna do a couple key cycles so you can see the check engine light does not come back on see it's running perfectly fine I took the key out this is gonna be a second key cycle normally if the fuse is out it comes on immediately it's perfect before the check engine light would come in come on immediately and I could demonstrate it if I pull the fuse out I could demonstrate it so you guys don't think that I uh, edited video or something as a lot of times on my videos people saying oh you added video and but that's not the case I'm gonna pull the fuse out in just a second and I'm gonna show you what happens so check it out I'm gonna pull the fuse out car is running There's a lot of people that don't always believe so as you can see I pulled the fuse out fuse is missing immediately check engine light is on immediately then check this out again I'm gonna put the fuse back in it's not easy to get there it's a really hard area there you go so I put the fuse back in and check out my my check engine light still on that's a proof for you that you will need a scan to watch I'm gonna turn the car off turn the car on the light is on you could try disconnecting the battery but it really on Subaru it's not gonna do any good you'll have to use a scan tool so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna clear it I'm gonna have to stop the video use my phone to get into the system and clear the code and I'm using the Bluetooth connector I'm gonna clear the code and I'm gonna show you that it's that it's uh, gone I went ahead and cleared the codes I'm gonna start the car and I used my cell phone to clear the codes once again thank you for watching this was George with Melnick Automotive